It's hard to watch. A crying, defenceless baby in the hands of a man who isn't a paediatrician, isn't a GP either. I don't know if you can tell, but she's just got this real, very specific patch of fluid there. Can you see that? Would you believe Ian Rossborough is a chiropractor? Here at his Melbourne clinic, apparently treating this four-day-old girl for colic. And if I just straighten her out a little bit... Rossborough is about to use a chiropractic technique called spinal manipulation, normally used on adults. And it's what comes next that's been described as the crack heard around the world. I have to, unfortunately, just extend her a little bit to get it in the right place. That's why we... That's why we'd be quick. Hey, darling. It's been seen and abhorred by millions. That's why Causing shock and anger here and abroad. Yeah, it didn't really hurt. If that hurt, you'd still be crying. Exposing a growing number of chiropractors whose work, experts say, has now ventured way outside and above their level of medical expertise. There's no need to see a chiropractor as a child. There's just, there's just no need for it. You're putting children at unnecessary risk. You're taking money off people and offering them what can only be a placebo. In many cases, chiropractors claim they can help cure asthma, ADHD, colic, bedwetting, and even ear infections in children. There you go. And it started an all-out war between trained medical practitioners Oh, sorry, not magical. But maybe You've I'm sending four Simon, out of five of my patients Simon, away the same as you. Don't interrupt. And so-called cowboy chiropractors... Are you all in? ..with controversial and dangerous views. Seriously, I'm not joking about that. Oh. Convince me why I shouldn't get my kids vaccinated. Can you do yeah, that Yeah, so me? what we're going to do now is we're going to finish. <laughs> you're great. No. <laughs> Thank you. No, I just... Yeah, you're... Good job. Good try. Good job. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not going to happen on my watch. Up until that point, <laughs> Melbourne chiropractor Simon Floriani had been showing me how he uses what's called so a spinal going? adjustment on babies you? and young children. Can you explain what that means? So an adjustment in its pure sense is a, is a, a movement of the, the bones in a, in a direction where they are stiff and trying to release that stiffness and free it up. He's an experienced chiropractor who's been working with children for 20 years. Beautiful spinal cord flexibility the way babies should have. According to Simon, helping a child's spinal fluid flow more freely is the key to good health. That's it. Oh. Mum of two, Holly, has brought in her youngest, Hugo, who's teething. So with an adjustment that gently rocks the cranial bones, helps to soothe some of that heat. Simon, just explain to me what you did there. Well, Alex, a chiropractor looks at the spine like an electrician looks at a fuse box. The fuses control everything that happens in the house. In the neck and head region is swallowing, sinuses, teething, all of those sorts of things. So I've just checked through Hugo's spine to make sure that it's as aligned as it can be. All the fuses are open so that the electricity can get through properly. Why Simon? Look, Simon treats you like you're part of the family. It's not just myself, it's everybody that comes through here. You spread the word. <laughs> I've spread the word, I have, yeah. yeah. Come on in, Max. Look at that. <laughs> Parents like Erin used to take their sick kids to the local GP. Last time I saw you, you had a big cough and cold. Has that yeah. been better? Yeah, that's better. All right, turn over onto your back. But now, a growing number of children are under the care of the local chiropractor instead. You sound like there's a little bit still blocked up in here. So we're oh. just going to loosen that up a little bit. Erin, why do you bring your kids here? Like recently, we've been sick with this flu-like thing. We've been coming more regularly than not to try and really flush through any viruses, bad bugs that we've got. It's now reached the point where Australian chiropractors receive one million visits from babies and children 
every year. I'm a new parent. I have twin girls. If my children are presenting with colic, do I go to you or a GP? You're the parent, Alex. You make that decision. What's your advice? Should I come to you or a GP? The parents are the guardians. So you need to find someone that you trust. We're in the trust industry. If my kids have got asthma, do I bring them to you? There's no harm in getting a checkup from a chiropractor to see whether that's of benefit. I'll ask you another way. Can you help cure asthma? The body cures everything. You can cure your asthma. Can you help cure an ear infection? Your body heals every injury, insult or infection you have. If my body's healing itself, why come to you? Only come when you need help. You don't need to see anyone if you don't need help. That's why some of these people in the Himalayas and the yogis on the mountaintop who can stretch and eat organic food and breathe fresh air hardly need to see anyone, if at all. Mm. Could it be the case that you do work on these children and after four or five days they do heal themselves and then you claim the credit for, for healing them? Could be. Could be all placebo. Again, what's the point of coming to see you then? I don't know, they just keep coming. Alex, I've been doing it for 20 years, they keep coming and they keep coming and they keep coming. What we know about the human body, how it works, doesn't necessarily correlate to what they claim. Yeah. John Cunningham has been a spinal surgeon at Melbourne's Epworth Hospital for the last eight years. He's calling out therapy he believes is completely unnecessary or worse, may give parents a false sense of security that their kids don't need conventional medicine. When a chiropractor says that they can treat conditions such as asthma, bedwetting, with spinal manipulation, you could be forgiven for describing it as quackery. I have to, unfortunately, just extend her a little bit to get it in the right place. That's why we... What's your reaction been to some of the videos? I feel sad, to be honest. I, I've got four children of my own and I love them dearly. And I know that as a father and as a spinal surgeon, there's just no place for that. These babies are perfect. They're just fresh out of the oven. You know, causing pain to that baby, is, it's just simply unnecessary. Another video posted to the Cranbourne Family Chiropractic's Facebook page so I'm just going to go upside down for a second. Shows Dr. Andrew Arnold holding a baby upside down. Stop. <laughs> What's that meant to achieve? Mm. Holding a baby upside down. Um, I haven't read that in a textbook. And using a crude pressure device called an activator. <laughs> he's going he's to squawk a bit. <laughs> That's it. The activator is just ludicrous. The cranium itself is actually testing nice and strong. If I find any area of stress or irritation on Chanel's body as we, as we check, Scott's arm's going to go weak. This chiropractor claims to be feeling the baby's spinal tension through her father's arm. Now how that works, it's a little bit like if you go out into the countryside and there's an electric fence. If you hold someone else's hand and grab hold of the electric fence, the shock will go right through you into them because when you're in contact, your electromagnetic fields become one. Come on. This is laughable. I mean, seriously. So now we, we start the testing. Hold, 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 hold. I mean, seriously, like, can any rational person look at this and think that there's any legitimacy to what he's doing? Come on, Scott. Scott, this is being filmed, come on. It defies belief, you know, it defies logic. It defies what we know about how the world works. And that's it. Chanel's first adjustment. Doctors argue that what you do doesn't work. It's quackery. It's like water off this quack's back. Because the people keep turning up. And they vote, and their vote's much more important than any other quack in the industry who's pretending that they know the answers. But they're basing their work on years of scientific research, years of, of science. Oh, come on, where did you buy that myth? Come on, come well, it's, on. It's not a myth, it's true. Oh, Alex. 
Medication works. Come on, you're a journalist. Pick you're up, a doctor. Pick up your act. Because I'll be honest, if I've got an ear infection, I'm not coming to see you. I'm going to go and see a doctor who can refer to me to a specialist who's going to give me something to fix that ear infection. Good idea. That suits you. It doesn't suit some people. They want an alternative and natural choice. And that's, that's the not great... proven to fix them, though. That's my point. Yeah, but that's their choice. That's a consumer-driven health care. You don't know necessarily that it doesn't fix them. Neither do you. No, but I can try my best to help you. We well, see, this is what happens. So in the world of, you know, wellness, people can get away with making these claims. This other level where people like him are operating is just a, a, a den of placebo. <sighs> You're morons. I mean, these techniques have been taught for a long time, for, for many, many decades. You know, what sort of fool would make a statement like that and not do your research? Come down and have a look. Um, Simon Floriani has, um, has thrown out an invitation to come down and see what he does. And yeah, yeah. Would you be open to that? Of course I'd be open to it. I'm, I'm a scientist. Have to, unfortunately. It's now known as the crack heard around the world. That's why we... A Melbourne chiropractor cracking a four-day-old baby's back with a technique called spinal manipulation. It's one of many videos that show an alarming number of children now being treated by a chiropractor instead of the local GP. There you go. Hello, Reggie. Hello. Come here. Chiropractors like hey. Dr Simon Floriani, Hello. who's invited spinal surgeon John Cunningham to his practice to find out for himself if, in fact, chiropractic therapy <laughs> helps sick kids get better. He's got beautiful cord flexibility. What a difference. John, do you think he might learn something today? It'd be nice, but I doubt it. Hello, gents. Simon. Welcome. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks John. for coming down, John. Really appreciate you coming down. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Should we have a look? Great. Come on in. Head down this way. Off to you, John. Simon's first patient is young Ajax. How old's Ajax? Five weeks. Five weeks. Still fresh. He's very fresh. Whose parents say has colic and reflux. They've been seeing Simon for years now and swear by his work. He's got a bit of a magic touch. Knows how to do it. Very gentle as well. He's got a magic touch. I believe so. It's obvious that he's irritable. Simon gets to work, massaging Ajax's lower back. Because what I'm doing is I'm actively, manually, gently pumping the spinal fluid to pump around the brain and around the spinal cord. So the nerves come through this area to the stomach. They also go through the neck. At the end of the session, John Cunningham is very skeptical. And then I usually wait for him to yawn or sigh, and that's a sign that that's enough for Justin for today. What have you done for this child that nature isn't going to take care of itself? So what, what can you offer? Um, I can offer comfort to the parents. Right, so comfort. Yeah. That's what this is about, is it? That's what it's all about, is outcomes and comfort. I'm struggling to see what, they're actually, what you're actually doing for them that isn't just part of being a normal baby. Well, you'd have to open your eyes and actually... The tension between two vastly different medical backgrounds is plain to see. Come on over, we'll um, check Alba. Perhaps baby Alba can cool the tension, who's here because she's not sleeping through the night. She feels somewhat strained through the shoulder blades there. When the bones are erupting and moving in here, it would give them a face ache. When I move through the seams of the skull, and gently stretch and disperse that heat. If I show you, although that doesn't seem like much, you can feel it when you do gentle mm. movement in there. Mm. It's quite soothing. And then also, if you do this on her at night time, because she may wake up with that heat, yes. and you can help to disperse the heat. If you have a cool hand, that will feel quite relieving, or a cool cloth, mm. often helps greatly. At the end of the session, John Cunningham can't contain his frustration. You honestly believe this, Simon, don't you? 
I've only, only got 20 years of practice. 20 years of practice, hundreds of people. Yeah. You honestly believe this stuff that's coming out of your mouth. And that's what is the saddest yeah. thing, right? That is the saddest that's indictment right. on this society that we've established. That you must people be sad like you, you've done all those knee surgeries and then realise years later, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. I haven't done any, Simon. Well, right? My probably. specialty is the spine. Then really it gets problem. personal. No, you're not, a, you're not a medical doctor, right? That's right. You are nowhere near oh, a medical quacks. doctor, Simon. We're the quacks. Whatever you want to call us, you go for it. This is the guts to it, all right? You try and help. You give parents hope. You tell them that you've done something magical to their baby and now their baby that. is better. No, did not say Oh, sorry, not magical. But maybe you've I'm treated... sending four Simon? out of five of my patients Simon, don't away. Interrupt. The same as you. Don't interrupt. It's awkward. And despite the barrage of intense questioning, Floriani will continue to practice with the full backing of his dedicated followers. But he's on thin ice. These signs are up in every room of Floriani's practice, and for good reason. Why was your chiropractic registration suspended in October 2016? I put my nomination in um, to run for the president of the Chiropractors Association. Um, I would had a notification about an interview that I did in America. Floriani has a controversial past, a past he'd prefer not to talk about. Why don't you want to talk about it? Oh, I've agreed not to talk about it. In 2016, Floriani spoke at an annual health and wellness event called CalJam in the US. Billy D here with another amazing pre-CalJam podcast with a good friend of mine from Down Under. And this is a podcast with renowned American chiropractor Billy DeMoss, who campaigns against childhood vaccinations, claiming they cause conditions like autism. Sticking a needle in a baby? Come on, man. What gets to be more like, uh, to me, it's, it's, like, it's almost a demonic, satanic act, in my opinion, and injecting in the filth that's made in a friggin' pharmaceutical lab. And Simon Floriani has no hesitation buying into DeMoss's anti-vax paranoia. Parents are trusting their gut and saying, I don't want to do this. I can't inject this poison in my baby's body and be okay with that. It just feels wrong. We have to say no. For those dangerous comments, the Australian health regulator suspended Floriani's licence. He's since had that suspension overturned by promising to keep his anti-vax views to himself. I've learnt greatly to be conservative in my opinions and expression of my opinions. And um, so, yeah, I don't talk about that topic anymore. Right. What topic? We could stop filming, because I can't talk about that topic. <laughs> but is that really what he's saying to his patients behind closed doors? I have to tell people the truth. As a health practitioner, as a leader, as a father, as a community member. You said you want to tell your patients about the truth, and I'm, and I'm asking you, what is the truth? Well, maybe one day when I've changed my agreement, if I've changed my agreement, I'll talk about these things. But I've made really solid agreements, and I'm a person of my word. I think it's important, though, because a lot of people are putting their trust in you. A lot of people. Yeah, great. I'm paying great. money, putting their trust in yeah. you, yet you have oh, these beliefs. A, what about if I get up and leave? Would you like me to do that? No, we're I gonna don't. Stop I, talking I, about I, I've agreed to, to stop talking about it. I want you to answer the question. You're so cute. I want you to answer the question. It's you not going to happen for you. My children are getting vaccinated. They're getting vaccinated today. Seriously, I'm not joking about that. <laughs> All right, well, let's pack up. Can, can you, this is not going anywhere. I love your style. Can you I'm really me happy. Can you convince me to intervene? You're doing a great job. Convince me why I shouldn't get my kids vaccinated. So... Can you do that Yeah, so me? what we're going to do now is we're going to finish. <laughs> you're great. No. <laughs> Thank you. No, I just... Yeah, you're... Good job. Good try. Good job. What test are you doing there, Simon? Uh, I'm doing hip range of motion tests. To be fair, Simon Floriani was the only one of the chiropractors featured in this story who would allow us to film him treating patients. And the battle over what's best for babies is far from over. Simon promised me that there'd be some evidence today that I'd learn something. Um, and unfortunately, you know, there's been nothing presented that is of use whatsoever. Would you rate this a success? Absolutely. When any practitioner starts to open their mind and um, do a bit of research, it starts, to, it starts to form work for more robust discussions. I think it's been great. I really want to thank you for coming down. 
It's been terrific. It's been a waste of my time, Simon. It's been a pleasure.